Let's talk sync music. If you're just getting started or you've been working in it in a while, but you feel like there's things you don't know, let's go over some common terms that you should know. All in. This means one fee covers both the recording and publishing rights. Buyout. This means there'll be a one-time fee, and after that fee, you will not see any other money after that. This tends to happen often with video games. Q and Q sheet. Now, Q just means the track. Now, a Q sheet is a sheet that tracks all of the music or tracks that are being used in a project. This will include when it happens in the project, the name of the song, how long it runs, writing, PRO information, and publishing. In context use. This means a song can be only used in one scene. It can't be used throughout the film. It can't be used in a trailer. It can't be used in advertisements. If in context use is what you have in the agreement. Licensee and licensor. If you are a music creator, then you are the licensor. And the licensee is the company that you are granting the use to. Master rights. This is the person that owns the recording of that song. If you're an independent artist, chances are that you own that master right. If you have a record company, then they would own the master rights. Per side. This refers to the two parts that they're going to pay, usually the publishing side and the master side. So if they say that they have $500 per side, that is a total of $1,000. Five for the recording and five for the publishing. Territory. This just means the places that the project will be broadcast in that your music is in. Sometimes it could be just one country and sometimes it could be for the entire world. Drop your questions in the comments below, follow for more sing tips, and save this post because you are serious about your money.